Have you ever wondered what really happens when you go under anesthesia? It's not just a deep sleep. Anesthesia is a controlled, reversible state of unconsciousness, far different from sleep. Its main goals, you don't feel pain, you don't move, and you don't remember a thing. Imagine trying to repair a delicate watch. You need it perfectly still. Anesthesia does that for your body. It shuts down awareness, sensation, and movement, letting surgeons work with precision. Unlike sleep, where your brain stays active and you can be woken up, anesthesia disconnects your brain's communication networks. You can't be awakened until the drugs wear off and your body processes them. This is what makes complex surgeries possible for millions every year. So while it may look like sleep, anesthesia is a unique, profound state, one that science is still working to fully understand. The difference between sleep and anesthesia is fundamental. Sleep is natural and restorative. Anesthesia is a medical intervention. Under anesthesia, you're not just resting, you're in a carefully engineered pause. That's the mystery and marvel of anesthesia. Next, let's see what's really happening inside your brain. During sleep, your brain is active, dreaming, repairing, and processing memories. Scientists can track these cycles with EEGs, showing organized brainwave patterns. Under anesthesia, it's a different story. Brainwaves slow down and become disorganized. The drugs suppress the central nervous system, disrupting how neurons communicate. Think of your brain as a city. During sleep, traffic slows but keeps moving. Under anesthesia, the highways are closed. Pain, memory, and movement centers can't talk to each other. That's why you feel nothing, remember nothing, and stay perfectly still. You can't be woken up by a touch or a sound. Your sensory pathways are blocked. Only when the drugs are reduced do your brain's network slowly reconnect. Waking from anesthesia is a gradual reboot, not a simple awakening. This total communication breakdown is what sets anesthesia apart from sleep. Now let's look at how these drugs actually pause your brain. How do anesthetic drugs pause the brain? It's all about silencing the signals between neurons. Neurons use neurotransmitters to communicate, some excite, others inhibit. Anesthetics boost the brain's main inhibitory signal GABA, making neurons even quieter. This widespread inhibition blocks pain, memory, and movement at their sources. The thalamus, which relays sensory information, is especially affected, so pain signals never reach your awareness. The hippocampus, crucial for memory, is also suppressed, so no memories are formed. It's not that you forget the surgery, the memory was never made. Muscle relaxants may also be used, blocking nerve signals to muscles and ensuring total stillness. By targeting these pathways, anesthesia creates a safe, temporary pause for surgery. The result? You're unaware, pain-free, and motionless. This precise control is what makes modern surgery possible. But who ensures this delicate balance is maintained? Enter the anesthesiologist. Anesthesiologists are the guardians of your unconscious state. They review your history, choose the safest drugs, and monitor you every second. Using advanced equipment, they track your oxygen, heart rate, blood pressure, and breathing. If anything changes, they adjust medications instantly to keep you stable. Think of them as pilots, navigating your body safely through surgery. Their expertise ensures you stay pain-free, still, and safe. Anesthesia isn't just a deep sleep, it's a carefully managed medical state. By suppressing neural communication, it disconnects pain, memory, and movement. Thanks to anesthesiologists and technology, life-saving surgeries are possible every day. Understanding anesthesia reveals the science that protects us at our most vulnerable. It's a marvel of medicine blending biology, chemistry, and human skill. Next time you hear, count back from 10, remember you're in expert hands, and that's the real story behind the deepest unconsciousness.